Welcome to Conversations with Eugene Ebner, powerful talk that will change your life. Today I'm excited to be able to chat with an individual who loves music and the arts. He's doing some amazing things. His name is Rupert Cheek. Hi, Rupert. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Great. Thank you for taking your time out of your evening to be able to speak to me. It's exciting for me to be able to converse with you all the way while I'm in Denver, Colorado, and you're in London. I think that's pretty cool, the power of the Internet. Thank you for taking your time to talk to me as well. Of course. Thank you. What I wanted to really start with today is to discuss a little bit why music is so important to you and if you don't mind sharing your story how it's impacted your life because I know that you love connecting people from all over the world that are sharing their talents and gifts all areas of creativity the arts music you have a quite a following on especially Facebook that I've seen with your cheeky promo as you call it thousands mm -hmm. of people that are on this particular page on Facebook and I guess all social media outlets. I know that you've shared quite a bit of my interviews and things that I'm doing and I'm grateful for that. So I thought it'd be a, a good opportunity for me to be able to share and promote you so you can get more people involved within your community. Thank you. Yes. Um, so I don't really remember when I was three or four, but um, I had speech therapy because I wasn't talking and my parents weren't quite sure whether it, was, whether it was because I couldn't talk or because I didn't have, have anything to say. So they took me to speech therapy for some period of time, I'm not sure how long, and it didn't seem to be making much difference. So they tried music therapy, which uh, evidently did make a difference. Um, some years ago, I went to the place where I did the music therapy and they gave me a video of some of the sessions that I did there, um, which was quite wonderful for me. And I showed it to my parents as well, so they loved it. Um, I was playing the piano and saying hello and goodbye as they opened and closed the piano lid. Um, and I asked my mum what she remembered and felt and thought about both the speech therapy and the music therapy. Um, she essentially was quite frustrated that the speech therapy wasn't having much impact, but she felt the music therapy was wonderful because it gave me a voice, I literally. That's amazing. I think that shows the power of music. And I think there's probably quite a few individuals in this world that have had challenges with communicating. I know that my cousin, growing up, I noticed with him that he actually, similar to you, did have some challenges within speech and communicating. And music actually was something that also helped him tremendously. Mm -hmm. As we know, music connects people, all of our senses, and is able to be able to express in ways that speech might not be able to. Absolutely. Yeah, and do you think possibly that, obviously, I guess, might be the reason why you are so passionate about being able to promote music and connecting people through music? I, I, I often say and think that music quite literally is my first language, so it's always been my, in my blood, so to speak been my first passion, what I, what I live for. Exactly. Is that primarily how it began when you decided to not only present Cheeky Promo as an online promotional tool, but to be able to connect people within the arts? Um, it was, I'd been a musician for a number of years. I'd been in bands and played piano with singers. Um, and I started blogging around 2010 or 11, and then it just kind of grew up from there. Um, one of my friends suggested I make it a bit more serious, so I thought of a name, and my name's Rupert Cheek, so I thought Cheeky Promo was a, was a good, good enough name. Um, and I created the Facebook group, which is the first thing that I did. 
and added social media platforms as and when I felt like I needed to. Um, I love connecting with people who love music. I love learning about music. I love helping people who want to be and are musicians. Um, I love everything about music, really. I think it's awesome that you do that. There's so many people that love the arts and love music. And speaking of helping people, I know that another thing that you experienced, I believe it was 2011, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand that you were in a car accident and had many challenges over the last years with injuries through the car accident. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, at the time, I was, had been accompanying a singer-songwriter on the piano. Um, I don't know if I'll mention her name, because she might not want me to. Um, I was at her place with a couple of other people. Um, we were drinking. Someone else evidently offered me a lift somewhere, either halfway to my place or the station, and evidently I accepted the offer. Um, and then this was around midnight, and then about half past two in the morning I woke up in hospital bed and realised I'd been in an accident. Obviously, I didn't remember anything about it, which was probably, probably good, because it probably saved me some extra mental, emotional pain. Um, and then it, I broke the top, my, my top jaw about here, so I had screws in and a wire all the way around for a couple of months. Um, and I had to take some of these teeth out at the bottom. So I had a removable, it was supposed to be a permanent bridge that fell out so many times that they gave up. And then they agreed to give me some permanent implants. Um, but by the time that was finished, it was three and a half years, four years later, after the accident, which is probably the most frustrating thing about it, not the actual pain, but the time it took. Um, but now it's all done, so I'm, I'm moving on. Well, that's good. I mean, it, definitely life is a journey, and we do face challenges, and I understand that there would be frustration around that, but I know that you're using your experiences to be able to create an event that is going to be giving back to two organizations that helped assist you while you were going through your challenges with the accident. Can you tell us more about the organizations and about the event and how people can get involved? Um, well, the two charities are Lord of Robbins, which is a UK-based music therapy charity, the main music therapy provider in the UK. Um, this is because I had music therapy when I was four or something. Um, and the other charity is London's Air Ambulance, because they helped me immediately after the accident. Um, and I'd like to give back to both of those charities. Um, I couldn't decide which charity to give it, give the money to, so I thought I'll give it to both and split it 50-50. Um, I'm hoping to, well, I am organising a festival, an arts festival. Um, I'd like the focus to be on music, but I'm happy to hear from performers in any other uh, arts medium, such as dance, theatre, poetry, fashion, film, painting, um, and being a musician myself, I want to be able to pay the musicians at least some expenses. So I'm, at the moment I'm looking for some sponsors who would be able to pay towards that in return for some promotion for their company, if it's a company. Um, And promotion is what I do, so I'd like to think that I can um, give, them, give them their money's worth in the time between now and the concert.
and afterwards. Um, so if anyone wants to get involved, they can email me at Rupert at Rupert at CQPromo.com and tell me a bit about what they want, how they want to get involved. I love it. Especially the idea that you're, which I'm glad you clarified, by the way, thank you. The fact that you're wanting to and desiring to not only bring people together through the music and through art and talent and creativity and creating this festival that will do that where people can enjoy, but you're giving back from your experiences, whether it was the challenges you faced with your speech as a child and how the music therapy helped you, and then also through the accident, being able to give back to the organization that helped you during that time. And I think that's what life is about. I think when we get not only bringing our passions together through art and music, but making a difference in return to unite people and then give back, that's why I do what I do. So I applaud you for that. And I really do encourage anyone that's viewing this, whether you know Rupert or not, reach out to him. Even if you don't live in the area, in London or the UK, that doesn't mean that you can't get involved, that you can not only donate or possibly sponsor from afar, but this is a way for people to bring their talents together to network and then give back. So thank you, Rupert, for doing that. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen. Well, of course. So what I will do is I will have further information below or above, depending where this is posted, about how you can get a hold of Rupert and get involved. And whether you want to get involved at the festival or not, please check him out at cheekypromo.com. Find him on Twitter, Facebook. He's out there, I think, on pretty much all of the social media platforms. I know I see him busily working away throughout the social media platforms. Not quite all of them, but most well, of them. Yes. a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> I know more than me. <laughs> So thank you again, Rupert. I really appreciate you spending your time with us this evening in London and today while I'm in Colorado. Keep doing what you're doing, making a difference and connecting people through music. And I can't wait to hear more about the festival and how it evolves and how you bring people together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rupert. Goodbye.